welcome back to my channel. I had plans to post a lot more this fall and autumn season, um, and I filmed a little bit along the way, but I haven't had a chance to sit down and edit the footage until now. It's been a busy few weeks with family visiting, I went back to California, and just a lot going on, so I thought I would give a little update. One of my brother's films was premiering at a film festival in Indiana, so him and his family drove here after that to visit, which was great, and the kids just really wanted to do all the fun fall things. And then after that, Byron's family came to visit, and so they were here, and again, there's just so many fun, exciting things to do this time of the year and into the holidays. It is probably my favorite time of the year because the weather's perfect, and it's beautiful outside here in Tennessee in the colors of the trees are changing and there's the fall festivals and sunflower farms and corn mazes which is what my niece Ainsley really wanted to do and then we took the kids with their grandparents to the Honeysuckle Hill Farm <laughs> The kids had a total blast doing this. They had a haunted house, they had rides and fireworks, the whole nine yards, it was so great. Byron and I tried to take advantage of our days off while the kids are at school and have some fall day dates. So we'd maybe go to the grocery store together or go check out a local restaurant, go to a pumpkin patch, just um, try to, yeah, go on dates more. So we've been checking out local restaurants and uh, it was just something we enjoyed doing while the kids were at school. When we're not working, we are spending time as a family with the animals and with the kids and it's really our favorite thing to do. And for me, I just really enjoy creating a home, a cozy space, a sanctuary. And this outdoor front porch is probably one of my favorite spots in this house. I have this day bed I got from overstock.com and I try to uh, keep it clean so that we can either take a nap outside when the weather's nice or the animals can take a nap or just a place to kind of sit down. And we like to sit down on the rocking chairs. If the weather is nice, we're either on the front porch or we're outside and right now the weather's just beautiful. It kind of ping pongs back and forth, especially in October and November until it really starts to get cold. So sometimes you'll have really cold days and sometimes you'll have warmer days. As we're kind of starting to prepare, I'm turning over the house and basically moving things to prepare for the winter. This is something I really enjoy doing and I crave it. And can I just say, I love living in a place that has seasons because I just look forward to each season. Our boys are finishing up soccer season, so the summer and fall season just finished, and then they'll start back up again in the spring. So that was keeping us pretty busy too. We have two games a week and two practices. We love it. We're definitely getting into it. And it's also been fun too to just kind of go out and practice with them outside. And uh, you know, I growing up, I wasn't really consistent with any sports, which I really regret. And so I just want to be there for the boys and encourage them in whatever they decide to do. And it's just so good for them to be on a team and the camaraderie. Now in terms of outdoor chores and the garden, we're a little bit behind on this, but we did get around on a nice day to cleaning up the garden. We took down our above ground pool from the summer. Oliver helped me put that away in the garage. Byron cleaned up the garden area. And basically we're just gonna put the garden to bed for the winter and revisit everything in the spring. But we did wanna do it sooner than later because a few days ago, 
we woke up and it was 24 degrees outside and it was pretty cold and then a few days later it went up to 80. So as the temperature ping pongs around, we want to take advantage of those warmer days and get all of our outdoor chores done so that it's ready to go. And then in the house, I'm kind of doing the same thing. I'm moving things around. I'm taking all of the fall decorations down. I'm bringing out all of the winter clothes. I usually switch out the closets at this point so that it's easier and more streamlined when we get ready for school in the morning. And I try to have a few options again because some days it's warm, some days it's cold. So I'm adjusting the closets accordingly. And I do have to go in their room usually every day, if not every other day, just to kind of keep things organized. Bringing out all of the winter books. Um, my first grader, Isaiah, he still kind of likes to read these books where Oliver's moved on to more chapter books, but sometimes Oliver will sit and listen to these ones as well. So I love to have the seasonal books. We are doing all of the seasonal transitional things in the house, like changing out the air filters, doing some really deep cleaning. And can I just say that one of my number one goals in life at this moment is keeping all of the toilets clean. I live with three boys. This is harder than I thought, okay? Really, really harder than I thought. I have a whole routine on how I try to keep the toilets clean um, because this is not an easy thing to do. In addition to the deeper cleaning that takes place uh, during seasonal transitions, I also just have the daily chores that I like to just hopefully stay on track with and keep it streamlined so that we are running more efficiently. And I think we're getting better and better every year with that, and especially as we've minimized in a lot of ways to make sure that we can really focus on the areas of our life that we want to focus on. And um, so, yeah, just keeping everything clean and organized is honestly, I would rather do that sometimes more than anything else because even though it can be challenging at times, just trying to create that peaceful sanctuary for myself, for my family, for my kids, for my animals, it's a really great foundation to build off of. And also just to keep it super real, we live in such a chaotic world, it's one of the only things I actually have control over. So um, sometimes you'll just find me cleaning. <laughs> There she is, cleaning again. <laughs> um, but yeah, it does bring a sense of joy. And I'm just kind of in nesting mode. Do you ever get in those modes where you're just like, all right. And I think too, it's very therapeutic for me because whenever I clean and organize, I usually think a lot about things and I, I kind of assess, reassess and reflect. And it's just a really important time for me overall. I don't know if it's just the physical cleaning plus I kind of clean my mind at the same time. I don't know, that might sound weird, but I'm pulling out the Christmas stuff. Oliver did tell me, mom, it's not even Thanksgiving. It's too soon, but my parents are coming into town for Thanksgiving and I thought I wanted to have a little bit. So I just brought the tree. This tree might be too big for this house because we're getting ready to put a wood burning fireplace in that exact area. Um, and I just, we're probably gonna have to do a smaller tree, but I got such a great deal on this tree at Hobby Lobby a few years ago, and we do have high ceilings, so it could still work. I might just have to find another spot, um, but it's great. It's the easiest tree to put together, three, two, one, done, and I got a few decorations from Walmart that are adorable, trying to keep it very simple because I just don't have a lot of space, and I really am trying to stay very minimal even with what I buy and what I bring into the house, I'm trying to keep it pretty minimal. But these were some cute decorations from Walmart that I couldn't resist. Brought a few out to just bring the, bring the cheer before my parents come. like to do a deep clean before I decorate and I do love to kind of move things around and re rethink spaces um, each season and again I like to do it even more now since living here because back in California I think I tried to pretend that we had seasons but 
we really didn't. <laughs> Not in the same way that we do here in Tennessee. And I just really am thriving in it and really enjoy it. Of course, each season has its things, right? That uh, and, and I feel like there's like these paralleling life lessons to to the seasons, but um, I just really love it. And there's always like in the winter too, I'm very excited to pull out my sewing machine and get back into knitting. And some of the things I really like to focus on in the winter that I don't get a chance to focus on in the summer because I'm outside a lot and dealing with all of the things that are taking place outside. So I'm also cleaning out my own closet and I still feel like I probably have too many clothes and too many shoes. My style has just become a lot more chill over the years and honestly even when I'm performing with my band, performing live, my style is pretty chill. I wear like Doc Martens. I love secondhand. I love vintage. I love cozy pieces. So I'm pulling everything out for the winter and getting all the cozy pieces ready to go. Once the house is in order, since both me and my husband work a lot from home, sometimes we work outside of the home, but working a lot at home, just keeping it organized and streamlined makes it much easier to think and be creative. Since moving to Nashville and one of my goals uh, for 2024 was just to focus a lot on songwriting. There's a lot of opportunities to write, to co-write with other artists. I'm writing for myself and also co-writing for sync, like commercials, TV, pitches, indie films, things like that. So if I'm not working at the studio, I am either starting or finishing a song at home I'm probably just going to write a lot of songs and some of them are going to suck and some of them are hopefully going to be better than others. So a lot of repetitive routines over here. Um, and also just trying to make time for hobbies. Uh, my mom has a friend that actually moved out here. She lives in the same town. She's been inviting me to her book club. They read these tea mysteries and then they get together and talk about the book and have tea and make some of the recipes in the book. She's been inviting me for a while and I haven't had a chance to join. So this is the first book I'm joining on and I'm excited about that. And then Byron, when he has free time, he is tying flies and fishing. He just loves to fish. Oliver really loves to fish as well. And there's lots of lakes and rivers out here. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we just like to nurture some of these hobbies that that make life really enjoyable and Byron's dad and his brother really love to fish as well and so it's something that Byron and his dad and his brother do together but we love to go to the lake and you know Byron's always working with his hands when he's not creating content or developing recipes or cooking or doing private chef gigs he is you know fishing or tying flies or doing projects around the house and he's getting so good at tying those flies it's really cool and detailed um, so we go to the lake often. This little spot in our town is one of my favorites. So we go there often. I call it my little slice of heaven. Sometimes I just go and I walk and I pray and I just love being outside. And so, yeah, I captured a little bit of footage over the last few weeks, even though it's been very busy. And I tried to put it all together to compile and give you an update. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get back into creating consistent content because I do love it when I'm creating if you like my channel, please be sure to subscribe for new videos and I will see you very soon with the next video.